Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play the Seventh Saga. I'm your host, the Game Darius. Last we left off, we have landed on the continent to the west. At our powers, our magic kind of just revoked to us, and then we came to the uh, Ticonderra version of Vermont to have someone tell us, Yeah, I locked away your powers. Jerk. <laughs> Anyways, uh, next up on our list of things to do is go to this Cave of Silence to find the ever so uh, lovely Cave of Silence to get a Moonlight in order to defeat Gariso. Who's Gariso at this point? G Gariso is an evil. That's, that's all I got. It's an evil. Kind of funny that they're throwing man rocks at us in this place. So I don't. I keep on forgetting to take a little bit, a bit of a pause to use the seats. Now that I think about it. But yeah, uh, now they're throwing old enemies at us as well as some of the new hotnesses. Oh, that is mean. I seem to recall that the last couple of Let's Plays of this game I've done have been pretty much just... ...me ignoring a good chunk of the enemies in this place. Or completely bodying them, because I've been playing as, like, Lux, Wilmy, Olven. Not to mention, I think I've also been ignoring basically all the chests. Uh, because pretty much all the chests are going to have nothing of value besides, like, one chest in some of these areas. Bottle of Fossil, case in point. <laughs> Oh man, I wish I could easily murder you guys for experience. I mean, I could. It's called the uh, Moon Moon, but still. Dang it. Yeah, one of the I think this is one of the worst places in this game simply because of all the swoop swapping this way, that way, and the other way while trying to presumably you're playing this normally and not grinding to like level 50 or so. Can't take the end water because you have too many items. But yeah, presumably you're not playing until you know by grinding to level 50 or such. So that you can either run away or body everything in here. So, without your magic, you're pretty much just running away from everything. In my case, I'm running away from everything simply because it's a little bit tedious. Ugh, more man rocks. On top of that, you're getting lost in here because, you know. Getting lost in these places is fun, I guess. Oh, I've been here. Yes. I really should just look up the goddamn maps of this place. Well, that was the M water. Oh, trust me, guys. I wish I could play. I just needed to go right. Oh, definitely wish I could play with you. Goddamn jerks. Careful. Careful, guys. Else I will try to play with you. Which will end in your demise. Okay, this one. That pixel barely touched me. 
I will say I do think that I will still get bodied by the swords. I say bodied a lot this episode, haven't I? It's only been like five minutes. I can slash will get bodied by the sword simply because they are purely a physical creature and pretty high in dexterity, if I recall correctly. Uh, and on top of that, they have an astounding amount of defense, but only 4 HP, so pretty much every single time I want to kill a sword, I'm slapping it for 1 damage. I almost think that they have the max amount of H, uh, not HP, but defense that you can possibly have in this game. Which, considering I have something like... Eh? Shield Destroyer. Awesome. Yeah, seeing as I have a guard of 159, I'm pretty sure they have something long lines of like... 999. God, of course it's here that I find all the rows of strapping men on fire that give me all the experience points. Can't take the bottle of protection. The only reason I state that is because... Okay. Only reason I state that is because it'd be nice to be able to just level up on them, seeing as it's nearly 3,000 experience points. Nearly 3,000. Oh, hey, what's this? Balsu's grave. We're gonna die here. <laughs> I knew you would come eventually, can't you tell? It's Pison. As you can see, I'm back as Metal Pison. I've been preparing for this day to send you to the Dark World. You are no match for me. I have the power of evil behind me. I can't help but think that maybe this guy was supposed to be a little bit more intimidating. I mean... Sure, we don't have our magic. And he's just casually casting vacuum, which is always perturbing. But... I have runes. Actually, I can't do that, so let's go ahead and bottle of agility. Aha! Uh -huh. The time is wasted, Bison. Okay. <laughs> right. I forgot. I'm playing Valsu. I'll harm you! About the only thing Valsu has against this guy right now is this astounding amount of, amount of agility. It's kind of ridiculous. Ah, oh, goddammit. Of course he defends ups. Do I have anything that can help me in this situation? I don't think I do. Does this actually help? No. Escape. So, if you're using strategy wiki, dot org slash wiki slash the seventh saga uh against this fight it says just use your runes and also drink two bottles of agility so note that the two bottles of agility part is a lie that it'll just waste your agility oh man he's actually hitting me guess I'll go ahead and how much does Water Room heal me now? At, at this point, I feel like I'm just playing with him. I know that I'm over level for this guy. Simply because I'm level 50. But, you know. It's nice to, nice to give the guy hope. 
I think he's out of MP because all he's doing is attacking. Which is a good thing, because um, I don't want to get him down to like a pixel of HP and then suddenly, whoop! Here's a goddamn uh, heal three. God, imagine if this guy actually had a heal three. There we go. One more slap. Yep. It's not over yet. You'll soon regret what you've done. <laughs> I can't wait to see your face when that happens. <laughs> I... Okay. Still don't quite understand that part, but then again, I guess he's just more knowledgeable as like a demon or something about what the hell is up with the runes. Maybe. Oh no, not another fight. So really quick, I'm going to, after I get the thing in here and get the frick out, uh, I am going to come back in here for a quick moment just to grab one the one seat of protection that's in here. Because every point of defense is important. So, one moment, folks. I guess I didn't need to worry about it that much. It wasn't that far off the track, but eh. was still just far enough to make me go. All right, I, I just didn't wanna. Actually, what am I doing? I can use the wind rune. Keep on forgetting that that's an option. Shush. Go ahead and have yourselves a nice sleep first. Mostly for the saving. I'm not going to be making much more money throughout the rest of this game, I think. That's fine, I have like a full stack of diamonds, so... And other things. It's moonlight, so you really are going after Griso. Maybe I didn't interpret the vision correctly. I apologize, let me remove the curse on you. Hocus pocus, light of day, take this silly curse. Away! The curse is gone. Please forgive me. As an apology, I will tell you all I know about the rune. They say it is used to destroy Gorsia 5,000 years ago. It took seven runes to seal off his evil power. The rune you are seeking is the last. I believe Gariso has it. It's not suspicious that their names are very similar, I don't know what you're talking about. There, I've told you all I know. Gariso must be defeated. I hope you will succeed. Yeah, so now we gotta go punch Gariso in the face, except now I've got my magic. This should be fun, and easy, and fast. Probably not. So, we have our next goal, which is going uh, all the way back up to our Castle Gorfam, which is on the very end of the peninsula. Ooh, don't want to bother with that. Jerks. Uh, just let me make sure of a couple of things before I do anything more. Uh, hmm. Do I not have... Do 
Well, uh, could have sworn I had balls of fire. Give me a moment, folks. Okay. Well, I guess it's off to the wonderful cave of Baron. And then Castle Gorfun. This might be a little bit of an extended episode, just so as I can get to a more pivotal plot point and not have to worry about stuff. I did end up using all of my seeds and whatnot, so hopefully this should go a little relatively swimmingly. With a little bit more defense, a little bit more magic, a little bit more itch piz. And into the cave we go. Uh, this place has no treasure. There are no chests or items all about this place. We are simply to turn left and proceed. It's a cool looking cave though. Also, it's a dragon. So this is kind of where I think that I'm going to have a little bit of a problem but I need to double check a couple of spell castings first. So I will uh, use the light rune. So Monmo has a absolutely large amount of uh, defense. Okay, that's a lot less, a lot more reasonable than I thought it was going to be. See, his whole thing is that he is super strong except against fire, but you can use ice if you've got ice, which I've got ice, so, yeah. Uh, I want to say that he is weakest against fire. So, really quickly, I just want to test the bottle of fire, which, by the way, I had to go back and purchase from one of the other towns. So, quick test, yeah. It takes twice as long to kill him with ice instead of fire, but... You know. Also, he heals himself a little bit. Woo. And... Fire. Man, it's so weird seeing Valsu using another spell besides ice. And bodied. Yeah. Monmo is an interesting little one. You could theoretically get stuck on him for some time if you don't have, you know, level 50 stats. Hell, even the guy that I've been using, it's all like, oh, by the way, you probably want to just level to like 40 plus before you enter this next area. And here we are. Castle Gorfun. Oh boy. I say oh boy, but I don't actually recall any of the other. Oh no. What are you like, sir? Okay. 300. He doubled his defense to 600 and then ran away. Okay. Like, I... I grumble, grumble, grumble. Bum, 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 bum. Alright. Gonna go down the stairs. That we find. So... That chest over there is a killer trick. Kinda don't care about it. That's another V Knight. Don't I just I'm trying to decide whether or not V Knight is going to mean Violet Knight or Violent Knight, maybe a vampire knight. Yeah, that's and another one of those guys. Okay. 
This is fine. Just ignore that one and try to find the stairs. Where are the stairs? I really don't remember. Why are we going down this way? Because we just want one simple shade. Ma'am. Sir. Lucky, if you're gonna make it personal. Actually, how much... I don't even recall fighting some of these things. A good lot of the time it is a situation of just, oh, I'm... Come here. Alright. Did I level? Alright. <laughs> oh, what might be one of the few more level ups that I get through the entire game and it still... dicks me over by giving me a one power. Great. Cool. Can I just... Let me leave. You're gonna be that annoying, aren't you? Yep. You're gonna be that annoying. Okay. That's fine. You know what? Ice. Okay, they still do a fair amount of damage. I certainly hope they do. Freaking one of the last few areas of the game. Oh man, I can nearly one shot them though. That feels nice. I'm I'm not sure what I expected. I felt inclined in order to see whether or not that was going to be effective in the slightest. And you know what? About what, uh, about what I expected. Anyways. So, now we have a small series of these stairs, which can be a little bit annoying. I say a small series, it feels like forever. This is how you elongate a game, people. Just a series of stairs that leads down. Go away. Only reason I'm bothering back with the... Chimers is... Ch Chimers? I don't know. Can't take the harp because I have too many. Oh, come on. Power seed. What little of use that's going to be. And the Fort Sword. So we have 26 with the Muramasa. Oh, no. And 38 with the Fort Sword. Excellent. Not going to bother. <laughs> We've just... We've essentially raised our power by a whole, like, 12, and it still does not feel all that worth it. It might in the near future against certain enemies, but you know what? For now, it is meh. Theoretically, we could have came here before getting the Moonlight and got that sword and made, uh that place a little bit easier, but eh. Meh. Right. Let me order... Fine. Fine. I admit it, your agility is better than mine, so I'm forced to kill you. It's not a good payoff, just so you know, guy. Gal? Thing. Still don't know. So we now had to climb all the way back up from the basement back into here. And now we can exit and continue on. I guess I didn't really. Theoretically, I didn't really need to do that, but the additional attack is theoretically gonna be nice.
Now, I think that the rest of these rooms are completely empty. I keep on trying. I really do. I keep on trying to just run away. But, yeah. Yo. It really does help the, um, hack in order to make it so as magic is viable. I say that like it hadn't basically carried me through half the game in the first place when I first attempted to do a Valsu run. Because, um, I just ain't that bad in this. It's just that it quickly falls off after you get to a certain point. At which point you might as well just be casting power and then bodying everything. There we go again. Same body. So that room's gonna be empty. In fact, a good majority of these rooms are gonna be empty now. And... I'm thinking this is less of a castle and more just a freaking tower. And here we go. You know what? Just in cases. I say that like I'm legitimately worried, I'm really not. Are you Valsu? Congratulations. I'm surprised that you made it this far. I would honor your display of courage, but I'm about to put an end to it. So he... I was about to say, so here's Cthulhu, but... And then the bastard just kinda... not appeared. So, we'll go ahead and buff first. Miss me. Moon rune. I always keep on forgetting I should do the light rune first, seeing as it works as both attack and defense. Then, much like how we use the star against Doros, we use the Moonlight on Cthulhu. Wonder how much damage I actually do. Eh. Look at this guy. He just oozes final boss, doesn't he? I love it. Oh. I think it's better use of my time to just cast magic at him instead of defend attacking. Moonlight. You know what this game would really benefit from? A freaking uh, cursor remembering thing. You know what I'm saying? Sure, it'll make the grind a little bit more just press A to win or whatever, but... Uh, sometimes it's... I feel like I'm going to accidentally press A to heal myself or accidentally use an item. I guess that's one of the more genius things about this game though, is that it's pretty much, it does that. It makes it so as you're forced to pay attention. So you're not just kind of mashing buttons aimlessly. Good lord, sir. Yeah, that 12 power increase meant next to nothing, I think. Actually, let me slap him. And maybe it's... Maybe it's alright. Bit of a quicker animation to do just regular attacks like that, but... Eh. I'm playing Valsu, damn it. That means I should magic at everything. Burp. Eh, he might actually be more resistant to magic. I mean, he is casting a lot at me. But at the same time, I'm 
and still only taking like one damage from it, so. Man, you gotta think. Dude is using a good chunk of my resources and actually does feel like a, bo a final boss of sorts. Or is he? Look at this guy. He screams, I'm gonna rip you apart. Slap. Every, like, three rounds, you gotta throw a freaking moonlight at him. Could this be it? Could this guy be the final boss? He's got the wizard rune and everything. Maybe that's why he's disappearing every so often. Maybe Doros had some a little amount of that power to simply disappear from sight. I mean, I've played this six times through. If anyone else has been watching those, you, you know, you know what's about to happen. Ice. One more I should do the trick. Victory! Excellent. We have won! <laughs> You've returned all the rooms to me. Well done! All the rooms are broken into pieces. The power has finally returned to me. It's free from the rooms. You don't understand, do you? After all, I trained each of you. Lemily has been dead for five years. I took care of him when I arrived here. I came from the past through a time tunnel. My real name is Gorsia. Thanks to your efforts, I've regained my power. Now I will avenge my exile and imprisonment. And for that, I do not need you. I banish you into the darkness. Sorrow, I can't wait to see you. Prepare to die. <laughs> He's been unconscious for seven days. Don't worry, the wounds are healing. Are you awake? I was worried because you were unconscious for seven days straight. I don't exactly know exactly what happened, but you were injured and unconscious when we found you. I didn't die. But you know what's worse than not dying? Having all the runes taken from us. We are runeless. Runeless! Whatever shall I do? Oh, wait, no. I got... I got spells to increase my defense and power. So, I think we're fine. <laughs> so, what's happening? Where are we? What's going on? Uh, we'll get into that in the next episode. When we return. I have defeated a dude and got murdered by another dude. And all my runes are gone. And we're in a mysterious land, which seems rather nice. But is it? Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. As always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.